Good morning, my neighbors. How are you doing? Are you feeling okay? Yes, thanks for asking. I'm doing very well. And I feel awesome and ready to dish out some of the biggest entertainment stories to y'all. You ready? Because I'm sure my team is definitely ready. And to do today's analysis with me is the amazing, intelligent, fine, and beautiful Ife Omar. Hi. What's going on? How well, you doing? Well. How are you? I had to add like several I, adjectives I like, I like, for you I like, today. I like. really like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, you're mm -hmm, flipping. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. They, they didn't see that though. They didn't see. It's okay. They'll be the alright. The producer is beefing you. Ah, I'm going to figure out that. Uh, yes. Why are we beefing? Yeah, why are you guys beefing? Are we sharing Maybe you're just too fine. Uh, maybe. Maybe. It happened. Just maybe. How are you're you? You're looking really good and you're glowing this morning. Oh, that's What's that? nice. What's the glow about? Uh, I don't know. Money and I think house. I slept a lot too. Same. Mm. I think it's everybody, right? I think uh. I went to bed like 8 p.m. yesterday. Then I woke yeah, up like too. 2 something. Pressed my phone oh my on God, beat. Same. <laughs> same. But like, I slept like around 9.30 and I woke up at 1. Pre pressed my phone for like a few hours, maybe like 1.32 yeah. and then I slept again. Yeah, but I woke same. up really late. I took the alarm, I did less and I slept. I don't know same. Like the sun was I, I coming out. I woke up out. late, but my own late is different from your yeah, late no, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My <laughs> lateness is 6 a.m. I woke up 6 a.m. still. <laughs> Let me not even say when I woke up no, then. No, it's fine. Don't say it. <laughs> Don't say it. So, are you ready for today's of stories? Of course. You are, Born right? Already. They're, they're, they're hurt too, you know? Yes, the stories they are. are. Mm -hmm. You know, the Omotala story came out, but I was surprised we didn't talk about it. But yeah. now that she has reacted, I think it's about mm -hmm. time we talk mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. it, right? Mm -hmm. So, let's move on to that straight up. Alrighty. So, Nigerian actress Omotala Jalade Ekende has reacted to the report that she, is an, she has an affair with the former national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC Adams Oshomole. A blogger, Gislova, had alleged that the actress and the politician are romantically linked. In a post shared via Instagram page on Tuesday, January 19, 2021, the, mov the movie star refuted the claims by the blogger. The actress has since asked the followers to boycott and report the Instagram page of the blogger. Hmm. Hmm. What will we call this movie now? Hmm. Hmm. Um, does I'm not lie in the jungle. <laughs> no, what, what, what? Well, clearly not built for for movie making. It sounded like a Nollywood script or I'm something. Not this this story, mm. you think so? Yes, sir. Do you think there's any possibility though that it's true? I I really can't say she's she's a married woman. Mm. I'm not saying married women do not have extra curricular marital activities, <laughs> extra marital affairs. Yes, they definitely do. But um, in her case, I want to believe she has a good relationship with Captain mm. Candy, you know. And mm. then suddenly this morning, some mud bus suddenly boost, some suddenly, mud suddenly, suddenly. just appeared on the internet. Did mm. you see that? Where um, Captain Candy too. As a side chick, and it was, you know, the, their chats got exposed oh, allegedly wow. saying that when are you coming to the UK? Okay. And the girl was saying, Oh man, your, your wife has to shift to when I come, blah, blah, blah. They were like, What about your boyfriend? Will he shift to? There has to be some shifting. And the girl responded, Shift that. And then he said, I will shift it. And he <laughs> went on and on. And they, they shall want to shift something. Hey, mm -hmm. And shift wombs as well. <laughs> I didn't want to say that part, but I'm glad you brought it up. <laughs> Uh, yes. It's ridiculous. Um, so. I know that 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 blog. Uh, unfortunately, I follow that blog as well. I, I follow them as well. Yeah, and I'm not going to report them. The reason because you like them. Me too. <laughs> they, give us they do. Uh, and, uh, and they uh, don't go for your regular. They go for the ones that are very juicy. And they just have some insights like mm -hmm. this. But you see, the thing about this story for me, or with her story in general, you can tell when she's confident. And I'm going to say she because of the way. She talks and she um, mm -hmm. attaches herself to the mm -hmm. female gender and all that. But you see, the when she's confident, you can tell she's like doing with her full chest and she's dropping hints and mm -hmm. talking about where were you on this day and like you know you know something. I yeah. hear she always does that. So those kind of stories, I'm always like ah, like with the one with Sophia, Lakija and Timini and all the, that stupid squad and what mm -hmm. they were doing with each other. Mm -hmm. Not that I have a problem with it. Live your life, but. Mm -hmm. You know, that one was a lot more confident and she was showing videos. Whoever was feeding her was very close to that circle. But this particular story, I think she just heard something. And then she just ran she with it. She ran with it. And and even the whole story of like, is it a holy day to say she it's because she does not know. When she knows she would tell us and if she doesn't know, it would die down. That's how she always mm. operates. So um I like that 
I don't know if I would say I like. I I like the way Omotola responded to it, but I, some, I just wish that she didn't because... No, she said she would usually not do this. Like I said, um, I think on Monday, that the fact that we're taking the law seriously, it's a good thing, especially in the media industry, that you're not just allowed to put stuff out there about people, stuff you can confirm. At least there's something called in journalism called fact-checking. Mm. So even if you have this information, well, as a journalist, it's... It's well, blogging journalism. Don't it's, 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 like it's, it's, it's kind of... No, kinda, it's not. Mm -mm. Well, whatever it is. But though, blogging is like journaling. Like that's gossiping. It's not journalism. It's it's gossiping, actually. You know, soft sell and stuff. It's like saying that because I carry my camera and I, I upload things that happen, I'm a journalist. No, there's like more to that than than true that, that. and she's not said that she's a journalist and i guess that's where the okay the line so what, gets do you, what do you think is the problem that there should be a law for blogging as well you know bloggers shouldn't just be able to put because if you're saying it's different for journalism people are seeing it and instagram like i like where omotola is also coming from saying that how can you go to such a big platform as instagram well, so she goes to her whatsapp group chat i don't understand maybe but now I think there will be a lawsuit somewhere. I think so too, and yeah. there should be that. But this is where internet, whatever comes in, internet uh, control or whatever comes in. How do we how do we tackle fake news? Mm. And that's not a journalism um, uh, body. You know, mm. it's not a journalism problem. That or how do we tackle fake news within the journalist com community? Mm. We're talking about just any any user really, um, because I I don't know blogging has even become such a washed terminology now. So if I post pictures of other people, yeah, I'm a blogger. blogger so I don't know. I think oh, so, a blogger. It, it, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think it's supposed to be more intentional than that. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you can um, um, dampen that, and I'm not even going to bother myself because I, there's somebody that's somebody else's headache that they have an organization for that mm -hmm. and they're getting paid for that. So they mm -hmm. need to figure out how to do what that. To do. But um, I like that she, um, also said that she went to seek advice mm -hmm. because I think that's the same thing I would do if I was ever in the position. She didn't act on, uh, on her emotions. She just she exactly. went for she advice went and, first. Yeah. yeah. And to me, to me, that shows somebody who's a bit more innocent than mm -hmm. I, even if I don't want to believe that Omotala um, is, I don't know, maybe let, let's say I want to believe that she's actually having an affair. I think that kind of statement is, is only done by people who are innocent because they know for a fact, like, this is not a so joke. So the best way to e tackle exactly. it. Exactly. So I like that she's coming out to say that. I don't think it spread that much that it defamed her character. I don't really know. Because mm. also it's a divided picture. It's not like as if, no, there was her and him sitting in an office talking mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. somebody wants to twist the story or whatever. Yeah, it looks like share gossip. Them together. Exactly. Which is why I don't really appreciate her responding but then again i like the way she responded yeah is what i'll say and i think it's about time man these people need to actually calm down they mm. really need to calm down and um you asked me if i think um, she did it do you think she did it no but i don't think she's um... she's what she's crying, giving lawsuits i'm not saying anything please. no just ah, i you don't think she's what mm -mm. you don't think she's what we spill tea come on okay you i don't know. okay let me say it this way yeah I don't think it is absurd to mm. think that a married woman could be having something else with somebody else, if mm. that makes sense. I don't think it's like the most unimaginable thing in the world. Like, if, they, if, if I found out, if there was even more proof, I wouldn't be like, oh my gosh, how could you? It's a, I think it's a very natural phenomenon that happens within is human beings. Absolutely. Absolutely. Natural. Very natural. In fact, it is unnatural. To not have that, it takes it takes a lot more effort to not get. Should you not indulge in, your? Yeah, you're, you're not understanding my English, you fair. Yeah. Okay. Is it natural to feel that you have connections with other people that is not your husband. your husband or your partner? It is natural. Yes, it is. Natural. It takes more effort, discipline, which is not a natural thing. It's something that you have to build upon, practice, mm. and develop. No, no child is born with great discipline and commitment mm. and hard work. No, mm. you, you build that. So it, you, it takes a lot more effort to do that. Is it now rocket science that not a lot of people are like that? Mm. No, it's not. So if Amatala did it, if she did not do it, it's not like brand new. If you told me she was, I don't know, what's vile, like maybe she was hurting a child. Mm. Uh -huh. Then we we'll say you're sick. Robbery, yeah. she, mm. she murdered somebody. Yeah. Mm. That she was having something to do with somebody else. I'm beside almost, you know, she's still very fine. No more, you know. I can't say that. I word, would, I would just know. think that it wouldn't be Oshimo, Osh, or, or, Oshomale. Oshomale. Why not? Why not? Have you seen his wife? Uh huh. So his wife is really fine too, you know. I don't know, Sha. I just don't see them even like physically compatible. I don't know. Man, 
Money stop nonsense. True, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, money stop nonsense. True. And on that note, let's move on. As uh, you know, a uh, popular soul singer, this is Morty. You know, get me. Um, this story, when I saw it yesterday, I think everybody was in shock. Is yeah. it true? Mm. You know, they got us confused. Could this be a movie? Could this be a video shoot? Is she being for real? Like, we're all confused. So maybe you guys will help us out by joining the conversation with 0906057519. So popular soul singer, uh, Wajay has shown off a man, a fellow singer by the name Rick Asani. The singer who gave up a music career some years ago, well, she's back, seems to have been working on a different path as she found herself a new lover. In a recent Instagram post, the I Wish 8 singer shared a post of her with a man, Rick Asani, an African pop soul singer and songwriter. What you guys think? True or clout? I think it's true. Okay. And I Why do you think so? I, it, it, it solidified it for me. First of all, with the caption and the pose. It's uh, it's time. It is time with the pose and her friends. It's not rocket science um, for Misha. It's not rocket science. Once her friends started saying, "Finally, we can share the good news." Hey, these people are finally out. You see out. the picture quality. Uh, like da, da, it was da, 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 too da. clean. It was yes, too now. clean. Not to you think either be games. a movie or mm, it's not a movie. so they actually went for a photo shoot to put the news out there that we're together. Is that what you're saying? Okay, so I reached out to YJ this morning. I called YJ, and the moment she heard my voice, she was like, yeah, if I, ah, if I, let me call you back. If it's about my post, there's nothing to confirm here. Those were her words to me. Mm. And I was like, no, YJ, calm down. And that's not what I'm calling. I'm calling to wish you happy. She said, no, if I, I know it's about my post. So I, I said, okay, you know what? I'll call you back. Then I went straight to WhatsApp, right? And I sent her a message, and she said, I will comment in my own time. Mm. And I just feel like I just sent her back a message that I think I have my answer. And I think my answer is that why would you be commenting about something you've put out there? So if you still have to further comment on it, then I think it's just if a story clouds. or a story that's touching the hearts. These people are it's dating. Clouds, but now. How anyway, do you know? As in, have you heard it? Apart from mm, when she put it out, have you heard it somewhere else? That, see, they you know are that for dating. A fact? They are dating. There is a romantic connection between these people. And even if she didn't mean to jabber it, do you know what it is? Eh? Hmm. <laughs> maybe hmm. you don't know. Maybe okay. men, I think I don't know this maybe part of the men tea. don't work the same. Hmm. If I knew that my friend had been hmm. dating somebody, and this is a person of, of uh, a personality that we have to keep things under the wraps. Mm. And then she finally says it's time. And everybody that is close to her, that has a personal relationship, has seen, and people are saying, oh my gosh, finally we can talk about it. First of all, movies are not... <laughs> if it, movies are not what? My opinion mm. is that they are dating and it is time for them to come out in public. These two people are personalities. They are famous people. It mm. is a big deal. Everybody knows. Every mm. single person knows. Let's take and it because to of the age disparity Let's, as well. Exactly. Let's take it to Tori and uh, what's, her, what's his name? Michael B. Jordan. It mm. was the same kind of notion. Um, 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 both of them uploading their images on social media. Mm. Da, 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 da. Everybody knows social media is a completely different world. Mm. I know, and I, I don't say it's a new phenomenon because we didn't used to do that when we we're younger. But your relationship progresses when it gets to social media. True. Except you're one of those people that just doesn't care, and these people care because they are um, famous people. It is not rocket science to know that um, when when is you you can have serious? a relationship, and when it gets serious, you and you're, in, you're an important character, you kind of like have to announce it. Um, Rita Dominic just did that a few weeks ago. Same vibe, same hand in kidney, posing to each other, holding nose. YJ is not the kind of person that does that for anything in general. Mm. So, for you to say it is time. Okay, and I guess it is time then because um, I, I wish them the best of luck. I wish them, uh, um, you know, a blissful relationship. And there yeah, are people, just mind your business because people are talking about the age gap. Like, oh, she's older than him. You know, some people, I saw in the comments section, someone said, I knew Rick Asani when he didn't have facial hair and stuff. <laughs> like, that was, that he's oh, like, like he's, he's too, too young. young. Yeah, he's right. too young. YJ is older than him for sure. Uh, so, mm, okay, what's your yeah, take on, on that? Uh, especially I like as a older man. women, so mm. you can ask me that. <laughs> Okay, but do you think that your gender has a problem or it's not as acceptable for men to be dating like a, 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 um, an older woman in comparison to girls dating older men? 
Well, I think it's the society. The society looks at, looks at men like that, like a gold digger, you're a gigolo, you're probably dating an older woman because she has more money, she has mm. more experience mm. and all that. And that's why. So even when you buy a phone, you'll say, ah, now your wife buy a phone. If mm. you buy a car, now your wife buy a phone. Especially when she's also very all right. And no man wants to be seen like that. Every yeah. man wants to be seen as a provider because of the patriarchal system. Yeah. Like, you have to be the man. But, man, there are still some guys that really do not care that they just date older women and they are still the provider or they share it. You mm. get me? They do it 50-50. They're together. Mm. So, I think a lot of guys also like older women because less stressful, you know? Mm. I think I, I, I definitely like the fact that they have something controversial about them. And maybe mm -hmm. that's just me, but to me, a couple that are a lot more controversial and are May not last. toxic... May stand the test of time. Me too. I, I think so. I really believe that. Like when there is a, a huge cultural difference or a huge age difference or the families are very like opposite or how and Igbo, all that type of stuff. Like when they can go through, um, get past the normal things that are even supposed to prevent them from even getting in the relationship. And they, they are, I feel like your minds already show me that, first of all, you're more progressive. You're not as con conservative. And that you're not simple-minded. Yeah. I like that. Something just crossed my mind. Don't pardon me, right? I'm just thinking they're both singers and they both sing really well. Yeah, they're yeah, very yeah, high I'm, pitch. Yeah, I'm sure probably so I'm that's imagine how... their soundtrack, you know, when they are alone. I at think night. that's probably what good they together. <laughs> this maybe music thing. Mom, you didn't even get the joke though. No, I didn't get the joke.